Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love boys and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. It is 5 o'clock in the morning, and I just thought I'd show you how my sleeping pattern is. As you can see, I am wide awoke, sitting here watching TV, some cartoons to be exact. And Tana sitting over here <laughs> on the couch. She up too. But I have an appointment this afternoon at 5 o'clock or 5.15. And it's my um, mammogram. And yes, I'm nervous because, you know, I, I know that God got me and everything. It's just the pain. It's just the unknown. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been through nothing like that before. So... You know, I just got a lot of different um, feedback. You know, some say it hurts, some say it don't, it ain't that bad. Some say it's aggravating. Some say it don't take long. It'll be over before you know it. Some say it, girl, it took all day. I mean, you know, so until this part is over with, you know, um, and it's probably why I can't sleep, you know, it's just so much stuff on, on my mind, you know, and I know it's the surgery. You know what I'm saying? I know it's, you know, actually having this, done you know so but I'm gonna have to get over that and um press for what I want you know for what I really want and I want to be happy and you know I want to feel comfortable and I want to I'll be out of pain in my back and um I want my blouses to fit you know I'm thinking about that you know so I'm thinking on a positive note like just just think when it's all over with you know what I'm saying it's gonna be you know like a joyous thing so yeah y'all so I guess I'm starting this video now. Y'all see me sitting up or whatever, like I said. But still, you know, even though I stay up late like this, you guys, um, I still get up like at 12 noon or 1 o'clock. Um, depends. Like, if I don't have nothing to do that day and it's a rainy day outside or it's cold, I'm not coming out, you know. But I have a lot of stuff to do. And um, I just want to say to you all, though, I thank you all for your support. And I thank you all for my new subscribers. I know that I say this a lot, but... It is really appreciated for, um, you know, because if it wasn't for y'all, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't have my, the oomph or the push, you know, all y'all encouraging comments and everything um, that y'all, you know, the comments y'all leave, you know, it really helps me, you know what I'm saying, and I really like to inspire people. I was, I was at the mall today, and, um, Jessica, her name is Jessica. She walked up to me, and all I know is I was talking to the lady um, in the hallway. She was selling Tina some products, some facial products, and all I heard was Mama Love. And I turned around, and she came up to me and talked to me. She said, I was the one who invited you to come to my church when you was kind of feeling bad, um, you know, Instagram, you know, because I had shut down my Facebook page. I'm on Instagram now, and um, just you know, that's the only site other than YouTube. But she was telling me, um, you know, she saw saw what I said and, you know, and then she watched my video. So, I mean, just stuff like that to me is real inspiring. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, I mean, that's what keeps me going. You know, positive energy and stuff like that. Um, I'm just grateful for you all. I'm grateful. Um, me just putting in... You know, trying to put in content, give y'all great content, but you know, it's like I, I kind of try to find better content, you know, to get, you know, better views. And I'm not going to stop doing my um, videos as far as cooking, you know, because uh, even if, you know, I think the, the videos that I do have like on church those are my lowest views because it's just like anybody interested in the gospel of Jesus Christ, but that's okay. If I can reach one or two, you know what I'm saying? That's good too. But um, my thing is, you know, when I do cooking videos and things like that, I be trying to put the best content I can in any of my videos. But, you know, I just appreciate if y'all can um, share, share for me. Um, You all do like you all do um subscribe if you can share my videos it would really really help um to get me out there more i'm also um 
I plan on um, making a fresh, I'm not sure. They're still going to my chicken and dressing video um, and my mac and cheese video. So um, I think I'm going to make a fresh um, chicken and dressing video just for the ones that said it. I, I, I know I was real specific about, you know, the ingredients that I use, but you know, they just wanted to know how you do a smaller pan of it. So I may do that. Just let me know in the comments below if that's what you all want me to do. Or you could just refer to the chicken and dressing that I already have on there from, you know, last year. I plan on doing some different dishes when the holiday comes up. Um, like, you know, yo, I didn't get to do my collard greens and it was asking for that last year. And also, uh candy yams i was gonna do that a video on that um when i go into rolls you all um homemade rolls and peach cobblers and stuff like that i'm gonna refer to the big dogs for that when it comes to you know stuff like that i'm gonna go get uh uh what you call it uh general if i could say it like that I'm gonna go get one of them, them older one, them mothers that know what they doing, or they ain't gotta be an older mother, but somebody who know what they doing, you know, like homemade uh, German chocolate cakes and stuff like that, and peach cobblers and sweet potato pies, and we may do that um, videos throughout um, the holiday season. You know, I have that coming, so let me know if that's a great idea for you all. And also, I do um, have a shopping haul. I wanted to do it Bath and Body Works with different fragrances. I took one of this from my subscribers. They gave me an idea. So, um, you know, just fresh scents that smell good for your home and all of that type of stuff. Just some advice and all of that. And how you could just decorate your home real quick for the holidays, you know, little area rugs and, um, candles and, you know, whatnots and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just talking away, but Anyway, y'all, stay tuned for later on because I'm going to take y'all on this journey with me and let y'all know the outcome of it. All right, stay tuned. Hey, y'all, so I'm here at the Women's Center on my way to my mammogram, and I have asked everyone to keep me in prayer and stuff like that and everything, you know. I called my mom today and asked her, How's the mammogram feel? She's so blunt. She was like, it hurt. Girl, it hurt. It feel like they smashing and all that. So yeah, so I know I have to have that to encounter now since um she told me that. So, but anyway, I'm getting this out the way. This is the procedure to the next procedure, which is the big dog, the breast reduction. So, but I have to get this first. So I'm going in now, y'all, here at the Women's Center nervous but I'm going in yeah nervous but I'm here <sighs> so sick of these masks I don't know what to do I just be laughing this is all over, but hope it don't take too long. Is the mammogram like like 10 minutes at the most? Uh, 10 to 15. 10 to 15? Mm -hmm. Was it five minutes per breast? Good for you. Okay. I'm nervous. But I know God is with me, so hard to breathe in these masks, you all. <sighs> Suffocating. I feel good. I had a peanut paradise smoothie. I'm still doing my smoothies, you all. And um, I probably do a salad later on. You know. And the kids want to go back to the mall. You know, I'll probably do that. I know they're not gonna let me film back here, y'all, but I'm gonna come back to you. You know, let y'all know my experience of how I felt for the first time in a mammogram. 
All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm dressed and I'm ready to go back. She told me I'll be good to be less than five minutes, so we'll see. So lesson learned. You can't listen to everybody. You cannot listen to everybody when it comes to things. Everybody got a different experience. Now, I didn't heard they was going to be smashed. I was going to be in pain. I was going to be sore. They're going to press so hard. It's going to take a long time. I'm literally out of there within five or six minutes. Um, it did not hurt. Um, I put this off for five years because of the stories I heard, the horror stories I heard about uh, mammogram. I put this off five years, y'all, just to come in here and get this done for five or six minutes. And all she did was lay them up there, pull the machine down a little bit, wasn't even squeeze, uh, squeezed really hard, didn't even hurt. Um, and I'm fine. She said no more results will come in the mail, but since I'm the first time, this is my first time getting this done, I'm going to get a call back from the doctor because there's different things that they not have not seen in me before because they not have not seen me before, whatever. But that they may, um, you know, may have me come back for an ultrasound just to make sure everything is fine and everything. So, yeah. Y'all, just see stuff for yourself. That's a lesson learned. Five years I put this off. I was supposed to have a mammogram at 45. So I'm thanking and praising God that it went through well. Also, I am um, believing in God that uh, there's going to be nothing, you know, negative about this. So, so I can go on to the next step, which is the breast reduction. So oh, thank you, Jesus. God is good. Quick prank on Tina and Terrell. They pulling up and I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. Uh, I had to cuss that lady out because she, she pressed my breast real hard and told me to get the heck up out of her uh, office. <laughs> I'm always random pranking y'all. Let me get the smile off my face. She uh, pressed so doggone hard on my breast. That junk hurt it. For real? Yeah. I told her it hurt it. I got into it with her. For real? She told me to get the hell out of her office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do it. You cannot keep up. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. That was a random prank fail. I should have came out upset and crying. That would have been a good one. I wanted to see Tina and Terrell. I was like, huh? <laughs> like, I wanted to see Tina and Terrell be like, I'm going up in there. Like they always do. <laughs> be like, no, no. I'll be having to stop them. Okay, y'all. That was so easy. That did not hurt at all. Well, five years, y'all. Five years. Yeah, where we going? To the mall. To the mall. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.